Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a wonderful session. I am no longer Aramil, and uh, we will be continuing on Horde 1. <clears throat> Way to start with that. Wow. Way to just make me cry immediately. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My character died last week. <laughs> so everyone else is going to die, too. No. No. Yeah, right? <laughs> You're all dead. Okay, so, um, well, to make this easy, uh, Kevin, I am posting a link in Got it. Discord on the D and D general page for if you want to access that campaign. Yep. And there we go. Okay, so that's taken care of. Um, yeah, everyone, welcome back. We are, as I said, just hopping right in. We're gonna. <clears throat> We're just going to get moving. Um, first of all, to make sure I've got this right, who leveled up last week? Me. That's right. What level are you now? Nine. Twelve. Okay, so, yeah. So, I was right. My stuff did not save, and I will need to try to make sure that I've got the, the right. Did I level up last time? I think I you think did. So. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you're level seven now. You should be. Yeah. And also, can you put the turn order back up? Yes. Just when abs is cool. Just so that we can see the guys first. Yeah, I need to know when I need to. Oh, God, so soon. It's so soon. I wrote so well. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget uh, our torture music. These death saves. They're just torture. I need more alcohol for this. <laughs> All right, so continuing. Um, yeah, let's hop right in. <clears throat> X-Ray, you are up. So seeing everyone down getting hit by all those destructive waves that happened last time, uh, my horse is dead. I kind of, am, yep. I'm able to hop off and I'm going to walk over to Sakura. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to use uh, Cure Wounds on her. Okay. At the fourth level. Hold on one second. Oh, snap. So that's going to heal 20. Damn. Damn, boo. <laughs> and then uh, looking over at. Osiris looking for my elven brother <laughs> and I notice him passed out and a, a slight thought crosses my mind okay he may be drunk <laughs> true I've been passed out that way before <laughs> yeah but um, I still cast healing word over to him also at the fourth level to heal him for 18 okay So we got a total of 38 healing. Not bad for one turn. No, not bad at all. Sorry, guys. I'm not wasting my one fifth level spell slot on healing you. <laughs> no, it's fine. This is perfect. I need but, to figure out how to heal my lizard, though. I mean, Horsedine could do it. Oh, wait. Am did I still a horse? No, you're not. Did yeah. I stick one of the eyes of the lizard? You did. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> and I, I so actually you didn't have a you didn't have a mount, but you also lost a Donis. But I still have the one around my neck, right? Correct. Yes. You have the one on your neck, and you and put the Adonis eye into the lizard. Okay, but I mean, technically, they're both the same eyes. They 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 flow through all everything. <clears throat> also, uh, to remind Osiris that he has his uh, carpet of flying. Oh, I know. I got it right here with my activated. <laughs> He's like, I am ready. The problem is, I didn't want to get decimated in one hit and like get destroyed or something. <laughs> Do the carpets match the drapes? Gross. <laughs> no, I'm bald. <laughs> oh, how is Bade looking? Who again? 
Bane, Bane our Bane, employee. Are you lost? Oh, he's doing fine. <laughs> okay, he's okay? Okay, cool. He's, he has been just out of range for every, like, big attack. Thank God. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. He'd he be, like, dead, dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> he probably should be dead. <laughs> Let's not put this juju into the world, okay? <clears throat> yep. You guys are about to lose your, lose your guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn it. Need another diamond. <laughs> All right, uh, Osiris, you are up. Ooh, sweet. You can do the thing. Um, I'm trying to decide whether or not. Well. Uh, do you, you went completely silent. I can't hear you. No, you're good. I was counting in my head. Trying to oh, figure he, out does, he does thing. that. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um. Yeah. You know what, just from a, a safe distance from back here, I am actually just going to tilt it in for that oh. one. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> it's, what, it's what she does. <laughs> nice. And you're casting it on the, on the one that's not stunned, I assume? Correct. Okay. All right, so that's the 17. He will do a wisdom save. He crit succeeds. Of course he does. <clears throat> so he is completely unfazed by your attempt to seed necrotic damage into his mind. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, but mine's intelligence save. Um, that is going to be my turn for now. Alrighty. Then, Sakura, you're up. I'm just going to be like, <gasps> oh, God. Oh. Oh. And then I'm going to, oh, God, hold on. I'm going to check this in case this is information. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, Cast uh, Tasha's Mind Whip. Uh, okay, it says I get two targets. Can I just can I just do double damage to one target? Yeah, you can fire twice at one target. Okay, I'm just doing double damage, Tasha's Mind Whip, uh, to this motherfucker right up in my face. All right. He needs to make an intelligence save. Okay. And bam. Okay, uh, 17. Okay, the first one he saves, but let me see if he gets half. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sweet mother of God. He doesn't remember oh, the volume that? settings. Well, Derek doesn't ever put music on, so I'm doing it for him. Uh, Adam, I need I need something more uh, horror based, and honestly, something is on, but apparently it's just not playing. I've had this issue for a while, and I just haven't said anything. Uh, you said you need something more horror based. Yeah, something that sounds like a death, a night from the realm of death has just come to take your soul. To Mordor. Yeah. Okay, something... so he gets half of seventeen. Okay. And he also gets half of fourteen. Okay. 17 and half of 14. So now let's just go 8 and, or 9 and 7. So 16 total. Yeah. And then I am going to. Uh, is he close enough that if I walk away, he'll get an opportunity attack on me? Um, No. The lizard. On the lizard, yes. But if you're just walking away, like. No, I wanted to move on my lizard. Oh yeah, because you can't move right now. You you just woke up. <laughs> um, so if I could, move up. you will get the opportunity attack. And I do have exciting news for you once your turn ends. So cool. Um, I guess uh, I will stay here and I'll look at X-ray and I'll just be like, "Thank you, <laughs> thank you." <laughs> just like hold my chest because it's like probably broken ribs. <laughs> I'm gonna look at her and be like, "Try not to die anymore. It's quite a lot of work to bring you back." I'm sorry. It's it's not fun on this side either. Believe me. 
Alright. So you're gonna move away or are you gonna No, I said I'm staying. Oh you're staying I I must have missed that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well you leveled up. Me? Yes. <gasps> Moi? Hello, me? That's correct. Watch me go do this right now, because I'm so stupid. <clears throat> yep. All right. And uh, while you do that, Ajine, so as, yeah, as you do your Tasha's mind whip, as you go to speak to Adam, to X-Ray, you notice he has a look of per of like he's a little perplexed as your eyes begin to just like well up with like blackish energy that then seems to spread through you as you level up every fiber of x-ray's being just starts to creep and crawl as this like <laughs> necrotic like, oh. magic pulses over her like he knows that sakura is a good person but like deep <clears throat> down like he's just been you know, 130 years he's literally been trained to hate this type of magic so <laughs> The level of cringe. Do my do my hit points go back to full? Say what? My hit points go back to full. That is correct. You basically just like were reborn. Oh yes. All right, and uh, while you like do your level up, Adina, you're up. All right. So looking back at my companions who are so far behind me because they cannot correct. keep up. Fuck you. I... <laughs> I am going to call to the skies above. And then I will show you where I'm centering this in a moment. Okay. But we're going to call some lightning. I was going to say, I thought you had a call lightning currently active. She does, so she doesn't have to waste a spell slot. She can just move it. Oh, oh do I? I didn't remember. I don't remember where you left it. But... Stick, it doesn't it was, matter. Stick it like notes. There. right here-ish. Yeah, there. She can still move like what <clears throat> feet or something like that, so I mean, we're good. <laughs> so, Liv, you still have to roll for damage, girl. I know. I, I clicked on roll, but it didn't do the thing. One of my players in my campaign, in my other campaign, were having this issue where, like, their stuff would not go through. Hmm. I don't even see it on the log. Yeah, because exactly. it's not rolling. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You know, it's a nice feeling now that my internet's fixed. We're actually streaming at 60 FPS right All now. Right. It's 15 really? for damage, and it's a dex of 14. Okay. That I have to make. Yeah, I, I am not getting this roll at all. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just do it anyway. All right, so... It's, it's, it's coming up in the d, d Beyond, at least on Earth. Yeah, I am not seeing it. Um, this is different mine. d, &D Beyond... No, oh, whoops. What am I doing? Oh, I see it, yeah. I started typing d, &D Beyond into the search bar of d, &D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, uh, a little off. <laughs> all right, uh, 19. So... You said Save. 15 for damage? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so this one's an automatic hit, obviously. And then this one is a halfer. So. Eight. Twenty-three. Oh, that felt so cool. <laughs> Remember, it has to be in player's handbook, though. Yes. None of you has died yet. Player's handbook. <laughs> yep. All right. Shit, that reminds me. I got to make sure that mine are. I was just thinking, I was like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> you do your level up really quickly, and then suddenly you're like, oh, wait. We have rules in this one. Yeah, <laughs> because I have a spell for fifth level called Dawn that I get as a part of my cleric domain. Oh, well, that I, makes sense. But it's I part of, it. but it's part of my domain thanks to Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Then no. But here's the thing: it's given to me by my domain. I can't. It's not a spell selection. Well, then, uh, that's weird because again, like a normal light cleric has the ten spells from the normal player's handbook. 
So that's weird that it's giving you the one specifically from a different book. I, I could show it to you. I believe you. It's just weird. It could have been because you had it unlocked at the time. Like, still, sh I'll it. see if I, I'll still yeah. fuck around with it and see what I'll I'll have to change around because one of my feats are technically from Josh's Culture Project. That's a newer one now that I barely used, so I will make sure on that. I changed I completely spaced on that. <laughs> well. Right. Mid campaign editing. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> um, all right. So with that, uh, our one death knight is still just stuck. Our other death knight is now uh, royally pissed. He uses a bonus action to invoke a staggering smite onto his weapon. So you see. Him just like touch his one hand to his blade and just sort of fill it with this darkish energy. And as he steps onto your lizard's back, he swings his longsword mm -mm. three times. Mm -mm. Once at you with the staggering smite, and then once at X ray, and then once back at you again. Uh, bone blade on that staggering smite. And okay. I impose disadvantage uh, with my flares for both of us. Okay. So I guess I'll reroll all of these. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah. So roll me a D, I believe it was a six at this level. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's a four. Okay. Uh, what's your AC? 10. Yeah, so it's, it's still going to hit. Even so with you, disadvantage? Even with disadvantage. So the first one hits. The staggering smite is still there. Um, you are going to make a wisdom saving throw. No. 25. Yep, that'll do it. So you... Man, uh, failed save as disadvantage on attack rolls and ability check. Yeah, so you did succeed. You do not get staggered by the staggering smite. Her. But you do take 13 plus uh, 20 necrotic damage. What? Yes. 13 plus 20? Yeah. I just got back. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, these guys hurt. <laughs> I yes. just I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to the party. I don't want to leave yet. Yeah, right. Um, Adam, uh, you. What's your AC again? Seventeen. All right, so you got a tie. So I get to attack. You may attempt to attack. Yes. With a melee what? weapon. Yes, you're essentially in a duel. So if you're currently holding a weapon, use it. Fuck him up. 22. Or if you can't, you have to use some spell that can hit from that, like, distance. It can't 20. be a safe spell. I've, I've started fine-tuning these rules because some of them aren't hand, working. So I uh, hand axe and uh, 22. Yep. That'll work. So you use your hand axe to push his sword to the side, and then you smack him in the chest for seven damage. I'm just in severe pain again. I'm just gonna put my hand on X-rays, like, like bicep, and just be like, "Oh, I just got back. Come on, man!" <laughs> All right, and then as he gets hit with that, um, the third swing comes down and. Misses. Wait, I thought that was both of them. He, he it's he a triple attack. <laughs> yeah, but you gave me two different damages. Right. Yeah, there's necrotic, damage. there's necrotic damage. Yeah. There's like a physical damage from getting hit. And then and necrotic, necrotic damage. damage. For every hit? For every hit. Oh, I'm fucked again. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, as uh, the second swing at you. Thank God misses. I just leveled up. I misses? Oh, <laughs> yes. <my God. laughs> so, thanks to X Ray's 
imposing of disadvantage. It meant. If I didn't just level up, I would have been like super dead. <laughs> super dead. With a cape <laughs> and everything. Super dead. Yeah. And with that, X ray, you're up. All right. So I'm going to do a couple things, actually. So I'm going to set my hand on Sakura and be like, you're definitely going to be the one that has to get out of here and cast Sanctuary as my bonus action. So now in order to even attempt to attack her, they have to make a wisdom save of 17. Okay. Thank you. And then um, just a little bit of like luminous light comes through my armor and I'm going to cast my spirit guardians to come down and attack. Okay. <clears throat> so he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. So I'm going to ask you guys this because I saw a TikTok and I've been wondering about this because I feel like this would make turn order go a little faster and also just make it a bit more interesting because then you guys will know like whether or not you hit and therefore how to be descriptive in the moment if you want to be. Um, I'm just going to start telling you guys the saves you have to hit as well as the uh, um, armor glasses. That's fine. Instead of making it so like every single time it's got, we got to pause and be like, oh, you hit or you miss. It's I just mean, gonna this be is a save. So you still have to do that. Cause it's I know. I thought, I've been thinking about this for like two weeks now, and I just, I don't know. After how long my last session took in the other campaign, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start doing this, speed things up a little bit, as well as, I don't know, give you guys a bit more creative license when you do attacks. Instead of having to tell me what you did, you can just tell me like, like, oh, and then I hit him with this. Do sweet backflip, kick him in face. <laughs> Whatever you want to tell me that, that if, it, if you hit, then yeah, it, it just works. So their AC is 20, just so you guys know. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to make this a little more... I want to see a little more cr like creative and a little less of the... Like having to sit there and explain, I definitely hit, like, or this or that. Like, no, we're just going to start jumping. All right. Speaking of speeding up, I'm going to shut up now. <clears throat> All right. So uh, they go for the wisdom save... And that is a success. So they take half that. Mm-hmm. So 11 right. damage. So as you summon these uh, spiritual guardians, what do they look like? So they are the embodiment of the Valkyries that descend. Winged creatures coming down with uh, spears and swords um, to defend, well, me. All right, as they come down, he is able to block a couple of their spiritual weapons, but... One of them gets through and takes a small hit. But he is still holding his own against these beings. All right. With that, Osiris, you are up. Okay. Good to know. Um, just a rule real, real question again, real quick. Is diagonal 5 or 10 feet? Um, so in combat, it's 10. <clears throat> so. I'm really sad that your district died. Well, Dang. you didn't have to do them dirty like that, but you did. You know how it works. <laughs> okay. I could say the same thing with Adam last week on Tuesday <laughs> when he murdered you in cold blood. <laughs> he didn't have to do that, but he did. I promise you guys, my next character will be just as entertaining. Oh, no. oh God. <laughs> but oh, for boy. very different reasons. Okay, Osiris is going to walk up here and seeing that uh, this definitely is distracted with everything going on up there, I'm going to uh, cast Ray of Frost. Okay. It actually even works. Nat 20. Woo! Baby! There we go. All right, tell me damage. So there's 26. Okay, wow, so 26 total. <laughs> and that, and then because of my... Uh, fighting style or I have war magic now so as I, if I use a cantrip I can make a melee weapon attack would you consider that a thrown property or no can I throw a weapon 
You can all it says, throw a weapon, yes. When it says, yeah, when you use your action to cast a cantrip, you can make one weapon attack as a bonus action. If it just says weapon attack, then yeah, throwing thrown works. <laughs> so, describe this, hopefully. Nope, that one does not connect. Uh, so, I am more focused on the fact that my ray, I just clean up and I just like, yeah, shoot this ray of frost out of my hand or whatever at him, and I go to throw my axe, and it just goes like sailing, like, way over here. <laughs> It goes past Sakura's like flowing <laughs> hair. It's just like. <laughs> also, in the glow, I'm like, ooh, this glow feels weird, and I'm like kind of uncomfortable about it. <laughs> like this isn't my style of magic. Yeah, I'm just like, ooh, it feels sticky on my skin. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Uh, with that, Sakura, you are up. Okay. <clears throat> I. Why do I have it twice? Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna have to change that. Cool. I'm going to. I'm gonna cast. Mm. He's been succeeding on like all of his wisdom saves. So. I'm gonna cast. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna cast. <laughs> I'm gonna look over Axor and be like, "This might be a spell out of your book." And I'm gonna cast Sickening Radiance. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast it. Just like I have spell sculpt now. Also, by the way, so um, just assume that if I'm casting a spell and it's anywhere near any one of my people, I'm sculpting around them. Fair, totally. Um, I'm going to cast it so that it hits this motherfucker right in front of me. I need him to make a con save. Okay. Um, yep. What does he need to beat? 15. Uh, he definitely beat that. It's a 24. God damn. All right. Hold on. Let me see. <clears throat> 17. Okay. Okay, so if he's Jesus. Okay, um so if he starts and ends his turn inside of this, he has to make a con save. Okay. All right. And uh how what's the range on this? It is thirty foot. So every so is everyone within thirty feet, but also you're sculpting, so it's just me. <laughs> yes, yes, Sculpt yes. Means this guy over here has to deal with it too. Ooh, <laughs> yep, sure. Let's do that. Um, if they fail, they suffer one level of exhaustion, and they emit in a, de a dim greenish light in a five foot radius, so they cannot be invisible. So I won't waste your time on that part. Uh, these guys are not capable of feeling exhaustion. Okay. But they can take 4d10 radiant damage if they They fail. absolutely can do that. <laughs> <laughs> they can take all the damage. Did the other guy fail? Uh, the other guy did succeed as well. God. So all right. They have, they have very good, like, certain sk certain stats, and then But two since of he can't stats... do anything, it, doesn't that mean he auto-fails? He's just standing there. He can't ready or anything. He can't you move. Absolutely right. I didn't even think about that. No way. Way to think of the team. <laughs> oh, did he take? Did he take my seventeen damage then? My seventeen radiant damage. He did. <clears throat> oh, and since he can't move, he automatically starts and ends his turn. Um, so uh, every time he starts. And ends his turn. Damn. Oh, let's see. So, so double. That's how it's written? Yeah, it says, when a creature moves into the spell's area for the first time, um, uh, oh no, it says, when a creature moves into the spell's area for the first time on a, on a turn or starts its turn there. So if it starts its turn, inside the radiance, then it gets 4d10 damage. Okay. So 
that guy that's stunned automatically will get hit with 4d10 damage every time he starts his turn until we, until we murder him pretty much <laughs> got it all right so let me know to roll when i need to for that yeah, will do I'm going right. to be doing a lot of rolling between me and Sakura. Yeah. Yeah. With that, Adina, you are up. <laughs> um. All right, we'll place our lightning here this time. I know it's only going to hit the one person, but we'll go ahead and roll for that damage, even though this thing hates me. 24! Woo! Woo! All right, and what's the save I have to beat? F14 dex. 14 dex, all right. Fail. 24 not, damage. Not dexterous, love it. 24 damage? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just standing there right now. <laughs> but it can't do it. This thing uh, went from getting hit like once in a while to like just kind of getting decimated. <laughs> <laughs> is the guy that's getting the guy that can't move? No, the guy that can move is still get, getting friggin' decimated. So over. since he, since he's starting in both the radiance and the spirit guardians, he's got to do both a dex and a wisdom save. Yo, yep. con of wisdom, con of wisdom. Sorry. What what's the con save he has to beat? Fifteen. Wisdom okay. is seventeen. Okay, so he did beat both. So go ahead and roll for damage for both. I don't think with mine they take half. It doesn't say that. Okay, then. I mean, we can do that anyways, though. I'd love for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did I stop? Oh, no. Hold on, I got it. Oh, no. oh god damn it. Oh, don't know why, but all my browsers just froze. Just so you guys know. Oh, yeah, it doesn't actually say that, you know... As a fourth level spell, you think they would actually take half damage still, but it doesn't say. Uh, right. right. I mean, I feel like. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I feel like it would. I feel like that's really stupid that it doesn't. Hmm. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so, um, all right, we'll still keep continuing, but, uh, okay, so I would have taken the 19, so not the 19, I would have taken the 10, and I still have access to my, so it's just my Google Chrome browser for some reason that just decided to do this. Oh, fun stuff. Refresh it. I, I can't. The, the whole, like, the actual I, I browser. Have, I have their page up if you just want to tell me what to do. Oh, yeah, no, I took care of it. Um, okay. So, okay. All right, so the next guy, I just did uh, my one guy, and now I'll do the one who's, you know, right in front of you. Oh, I can't even do that. Okay, do a uh, do the saves that um, the frozen guy needs, so just the con in this case. He, he passes. Okay. You're saying it's not double damage. So, yep. All right. So, uh, the Death Knight that is in front of you, both you all. Oh, thank God. Everything just started opening up again. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> all righty. I may have to refresh my roll 20, but that's okay. There it is. Okay. That was annoying for half a second here, but whatever. All right, I got some work to do on this computer. I'll figure that out later. All right, so we minus uh, 10 off him. There we go. Okay, so the guy in front of you is going to uh, attempt to strike three times with his longsword. Does he get disadvantage? So Ooh, wait, he, he has to make a wisdom save to even attempt to attack you. Yes, but first... Uh, Actually, seeing you actually summon these Valkyries that attacked him, he attempts one banishment spell against you. Where is he going to banish you to? You're already on your plane. <laughs> the target is native to the plane of existence you're on. You banish target to a harmless demiplane. 
While there, there, the target is incapacitated. Target remains there until the spell ends, at which point the target reappears in the space it left. Well, or in the nearest unoccupied space that space is occupied. What's the save I have to do? You have to do a charisma save of 18. 20. Wow. Okay, so... As and you that was his action, told, so he can't attack now. That's correct. <clears throat> he was hoping to remove the guy who was attacking him with the things. So as you feel yourself being pulled from this dimension, you kind of rally your divine magics and just let the, let the energy kind of pass by you with no issue. <clears throat> so... I guess that's it. Um, Perfect. X-Ray, you're up. I love that for us. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to stay put. And um, hold on, I'm loading up my spells real quick. I'm going to use Healing Word to actually heal Sakura because she's pretty beaten up right now. So I'm going to heal her for 13. Thank you. And that is my bonus action, so I'm going to ready the dodge action. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then Osiris, you're up. All right. Um, Osiris is going to move up on the other friend of our, our behind the other death knight here, and. Uh, Make advantage of my double blade and scimitar here. And see, attack one. Go four times, but it's like a range four here. He said 20 was what I'm trying to beat, right? Mm hmm. Now remember, you have advantage on these two because now you're flanking. That's a good point. There's a nat 20. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nat 20, oh. baby! That's one attack, technically. One. All right, so with that double bladed scimitar, yeah, with the critical. Um, I have to count my attacks here. Hold on just a second. So that first one, I say they are, because I'm rolling with advantage. And per se, the 21 is the first attack. The 17 is an X out, because that would have been the advantage. Okay. Um, and then the next one's the nat 20. 26. But the. I'm trying to use the double blade scimitar feature where I, I do, you know, how you can do the second attack, but it's only one d4 and a hit. So let me roll one more. That's what it is. That's what I gotta figure out. There we go. Okay. So the second one that's actually a nine would be. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Let's see where I rolled a three or a two. So whatever one you feel like giving me for there. So it would be um, nine damage, and then it would be seven plus five times two damage. No, it's, and, no, it's just seven, seven plus, plus five. five. Yeah, the critical. It's seven plus, and then the five is the critical. Oh, got it. Okay. <clears throat> and then this third one is also a hit, or no? Or I'm, I may be misunderstanding. <laughs> no, no, you're good. So I, I was just, <laughs> <laughs> all it would be is twelve. All on twelve. Twenty-one damage. That would have hit. Everything okay. Goes. So as you strike him the first time, he goes, he gets ready to turn around to attempt to fight back, and you strike him again, and he breaks down to his knee. <gasps> but is alive. Oh, shit. We're getting there, guys. Oh, my God. With that, anything else from. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Sakura. Woo, baby. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to... <sighs> Jesus. Oh, God. I don't have to do... His fucking AC's at 20. Okay, I'm gonna drop concentration on my spell. And I'm going to cast a uh, vampiric touch. So okay. let me see if I hit him. Yes, I just hit him. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, okay, I rolled a 21 to hit. Okay. 
And then um, I am going to... So he's going to take 15 necrotic damage, and then I get half of that as health. <laughs> So he so, takes no damage. He takes no damage, because, uh, or all the damage, I guess. Because <laughs> as you do that, his armor and everything else begins to collapse in on itself. And I need you to roll a perception check real quick. All of us? Oh, my just God. Him, or oh, just her. Sakura. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know where it is. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I rolled a one. You got a one? Yeah, for a, I rolled a I rolled a one, but I have a five. We didn't see anything. Um <laughs> I need everyone else to roll perception at disadvantage. Is there a body? Uh, see my hand. Oh, I think I rolled super by accident. So thir- super advantage by accident. Yeah. So uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, that's what we'll take. Um, How do you do uh, disadvantage again? Same as advantage. Uh, it's the control. same thing. Or yeah, you can just roll same as advantage. Control click. I'm a DM. I don't know how to play- be a player. This is hard. <laughs> Yeah, turn the DM when you, hold, when you hold down control, it should turn to like a little negative. Otherwise, just roll two of them, and I'll take the low one. Yeah, yeah if I could get it to roll, that would be great. Oh yeah, that's right. It's oh, right there's here. one. There's a, so that's a seventeen. Yep. And then a sixteen. Okay. <laughs> um. So, Adina, you. Oh, you're way over there. This is. Oh, you needed a way higher roll. I realize now. Um. Okay, so all you hear is a little ding as something hits metal inside of the what might be the dead bot, the dead armor. All Anywho, right. Um, yeah. And um, now, uh, Sakura, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. I mean, is there a body in front of me? No, it's just like. The armor itself, like, collapsed in on itself, kind of, and the helmet, although intact, is, uh, completely empty now. And with your crit fail, it's completely empty to you. (laughs) Right. I mean... Okay, so would I not be able to put an eye in him, then? No, there's no flesh to attach the, uh, the soul stone to. But there's that other guy who's not quite a death knight, but has like half of his spells. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's <clears throat> it then, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. I have been hit with inspiration, and I have to do something. Oh lord. It's not for you guys, don't worry, you won't get hurt because of my inspiration. Is Just it know that I just thought of something genius. It's no, not even Bardic. He's dead. It's 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 Dungeon Master inspiration. He's dead. <laughs> From beyond the grave. So if Sakura's done, do you want a DNA to take her turn then? So I was gonna ask you guys, you have a choice. You can either roleplay this out and just like eat him to death or like you know, do something else to him. I'm or... interested in what's under the helmet. <laughs> well, technically, I rolled bad enough. I didn't see. That. I'm just gonna be like, if we murder him, I can make him into my specter, which would be really rad. Sakura, you know I do not believe in the blatant killing of somebody just to bring him back as an undead. I mean, yeah, but he would be really cool. And they did murder Donis, so eye for an eye, tit for tat. <laughs> I mean, I normally prefer tit for tit. I mean that too. Well, what you do is on your own, and I just kind of am looking through the armor, seeing if there's anything valuable on them. Since we're in turn order, can I cast anything, or...? Uh, yeah. Even though I just had a turn? 
Oh, okay. So that that was the decision. Was uh, role play? I'm gonna shut off turn order if you choose to. Oh, okay. I'm I was gonna cast a spell and give him more damage. That's all. That's fine. Yeah, you guys can do that. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna shut off turn order. Then you guys can kind of role play this out a little bit. Especially since unless you want to just like persuade him to join us, you can totally try. When I say role play, I mean like you guys could decide to just like go over there and like prepare yeah, no. a super cool like, execution. Or, or yeah, you could try to convince some guy to join you. Remember, there's four dead bodies of like the half death knights. Oh, oh, there's already dead bodies that are the same as the dude that we haven't killed yet. Correct. Oh, I'm gonna just fucking bend down to one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna take the eye off my neck and just be like, "We're gonna have a talk later about how you tried to fucking possess me." But here you go. <laughs> And I'm gonna put that eye inside that corpse. I'm gonna pluck. I'm gonna disgustingly pluck the eye that is there away, yep. and just like throw it like it's like I'm like pick something out of my teeth, and then I'm gonna shove that eye back in there. Lord Almighty! And then Love I'm it. gonna cast uh, anime dead. All right. Um... Well, with uh, with that in mind, let me move this into place. There we go. So, I'm now going to make a new, two new rows for your two new creatures. <clears throat> uh, what's the lizard's name again? Larry the Undead Lizard. Larry the Lizard. And we still have... It's no longer Adonis, unless you want to make him named Adonis. So what do you want to call the new guy? Oh, God. <laughs> what am I going to do? <clears throat> I'm going to name him Bile. Okay. Because then that way, I'm speaking to him, but I'm not speaking to him. Ah, okay. That's crafty. Crafty, yes. All right. I'm also going to need some of his staddies so I can uh, keep track of that shit, but we can do that later. Yeah, I'll, uh, we'll build a character real quick and throw it. Like, I'll, I'll match the exact stats and equipment, and I'll find a way to give him the spells without giving him, like, you know, without making him, like, level up, like, level eight to get them. Mm hmm. I mean, I have the character sheet up if for a death knight, so you just have to... I know, I mean, like, we need to make a character sheet that will level up as we go. Gotcha. Okay. So, just like Adonis, these guys are down, require having 300 even to level up at all. And... Just add into the XP chart. Give me one sec. There we go. Okay. Cool. So. <clears throat> so. He gives you that look after you speak to him about the whole possession thing. And then. Decides to just move forward with, you know, what he was doing as if he's just like a mindless, you know, corpse. Ugh. What are you guys do about the new guy? How much hair does he have? Other guy. I have my undead corpse. You can do what you want with him. What'd you ask, Adam? No, I was saying, how much does the Death Knight, like, how much hair does he have? <clears throat> hair? Yeah, like long hair, short hair. Oh, yeah. Um. So he is a uh, short, he has like short hair within the helmet that looks more like it's been just kind of lost from the stress of being <laughs> you know, a part of this. Gotcha. It's definitely been lost more to that than any sort of like, actual aging. Hmm. 
Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna walk over so to Bade and just be like, Are you all right? <laughs> As he's like between the corpses of these horses. So he peeks barely over the dead horses, like, is it is it over? <laughs> we have one more, but um uh, I wanted to see what you would like us to do with him. He's not getting on the cart with us. He's not. <laughs> I wouldn't do Murder it is! You want to leave him here? You want to kill him? I don't care. He is not getting on the cart with us after everything I just saw. <coughs> Fair enough. Osiris is going to draw a scimitar. And <laughs> be like, well then... <laughs> Dear brother, go ahead. <laughs> and, <clears throat> you want me to actually roll for this? Um, I'm gonna attempt to just basically like. So can't he move. can't move. So it's it's basically an auto crit. Right. So go ahead and just do the just roll, but it's gonna be damage, like critical damage every time. I can force it. I was about to say, I think there's a function in Beyond 20 for Force Criticals. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so, perfect. So as you strike him, you see a little bit of just, like, any sort of joy just, like, exit this person's eyes. As he realizes, like, oh, <laughs> this isn't going to be a fair fight at all. Oh, no. He's so alive. <laughs> it's going to be like yeah, slow torture. Alive. This guy's <laughs> a person. Oh, God. He is a person. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> <clears throat> Unless anybody else wants to do anything. Nope. All you, big boy. Oh boy. Here I am just like slowly killing him. Yep. <laughs> I'm curious to know how many hits it takes to kill him. <laughs> well, how many licks uh, does it take uh, oh, to kill him? Actually, pop. I'm going to walk over to him and just be like, Are there any more of you in this area? And, like, and he swap. just gives you, like, he moves his eyes, but that's it. It's just. I think you do best to answer my question. And you just see the, like the panic on his face as he just keeps looking at the guy who keeps swinging on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Can gonna I like, use. Okay. I'm basically just gonna like. Oh God, do I have a spell for anything like that? I was just gonna see. Can I use my own like bare hands to rip it like? Rip his heads off. Um, okay, hold on. I'm have, trying to have a conversation with him. I'm bored. <laughs> like, forget all the stripes. Stop. Like, hold on. <laughs> the necromancer wants to talk. <laughs> and I'm just going to put my hand on his chest and just be like, give me five minutes before you murder him to death. <laughs> and um, I'm going to like start to cast like poison spray so my hand is going to start like dripping with like disgusting like green goo and I'm just going to be like I will ask you only one more time to answer my question mm -hmm. and he just still looks at the other guy just like terrified like mm -hmm. will you back up just back up <laughs> oh no my internet's lagging so I can't hear Derek <laughs> Yeah, he he's won't still just like death if I tell him not to. Yeah, um, I need your roll for uh, um, perception. Is he peeing himself? 
Bullshit! Net 20 for a 20 foe. So, you all, you feel a little foolish for a moment, realizing that it's not because this guy doesn't want to talk. He can't talk. Oh, because he's under that spell? Yeah. Oh, is, shit. When I Adam told me to hold, it's like, hold your body, hold your tongue, hold everything. How can You're he, done. like, is there a way the actor can be like, it's done, it's over? He releases the spell, the guy is definitely going to be able to move. Okay. Um, can someone, wait, come, I have can someone come grapple this man so we can talk to him? Hold that. Anybody? Anybody want to grapple him? Uh, I guess I can. Ugh. I'm gonna come over here and I will cast Entangle. Okay. Sure. I'll be like, actually, can you drop the hold spell? He can't even speak. I'm surprised he's still breathing. Yeah, so, hold your breath, even one of them. That's really funny. Can I release partial of the spell and just say talk? You you well, can. Can you hear me now? Really yeah, well, you, yes. I've been able to hear you this whole time. Yeah. Oh, on my end, like you're cutting in and out, and everyone is because I don't know what's going on with the internet. It's being crappy wow. right now. I was gonna say I could, I can use my hold person and hold him in place. Oh, uh, you can do that. I already but cast in though. That's true. She did already cast it. Tangled, yeah, I'm, I'm just revisioning my order to say talk. Oh, there you go. Or you're you're trying to make him talk? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so between being entangled and being allowed to talk, uh, Adam, well, what's the save on both of those first? Well, actually, we don't need to save on the one, but the other's a wisdom save, so we're going to need the save on that. All right, give me one second, because I was building Biles' character sheet. Oh, I was doing the same thing. I did it in the... <laughs> yeah, hold on. I haven't mostly so done it's just adding spells at this point. Yeah. Uh, 17 wisdom. Okay. Um, Alright, so... Wisdom... Yeah, he failed that. Okay. I was gonna ask, like, uh, Sakura, what do you want Bile's, like, class to be? Because since he has... Since he has a melee... Has, he has melee skills and magic, you could pretty much go... Well, obviously the preference in that case would be like something with Technic magic and fight. Well, technically the Death Knights were paladins that died. Yeah, I know. So, so they were most likely going to be a mm -hmm. paladin. Yeah, paladin. I get that. Paladin's cool. Except right. that they worship me, baby. Okay. <laughs> Which I guess would make them a death paladin. Alright, easy enough. <laughs> Well, that part doesn't matter quite yet because that's not until level I, two or three. But the point is, it's easy to, to figure out what to make him. Yes. <clears throat> um. All right. Cool. All so, right. Oh yeah, it's not a good. question for Christ's sake. Uh. So after you finally get him to talk and everything else, he just looks over, like gives you like side eyes, you, and it's just like. I have no one. I am serving the master, Lord Kuth. And since Kuthko. you have killed his avatar, I am alone. <laughs> oh, there's nobody else. There's no one else in this death knight cult. Not, not here. They are far and spread. They are spread far and wide, and they do not travel. Can I inside check that shit? Yes, you can. Sixteen. So you are sure he's not lying? He he seems you're basically convinced like he has no reason to lie at this point. Okay. Um, if we let you go, would you come after us? And he does not say anything. He's still under the talk command. Oh, he you told to. him to talk, literally. Yeah, he has to. 
Got you. Okay. Then under that under that ruling, um, he just he just says just yes. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. Yes, it is. So Adam, so you changed your command to talk, right? Because he was held by entangled. Correct. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna take my hand that's like starting to form the poison spray, and I'm just gonna be like. Well, I tried to help you. And then I'm just going to like literally shove my hand in his mouth and just like let poison spray go. Right on. Poison faucet. Yeah. So he needs to make a con save. Okay. And um, as of course in response to that, uh, as he makes the con save, coughing, critical failing that con save. So so does he get double damage? So does what? He get, does he get double damage then? He does get double damage. Okay, so uh, 16 times 2, baby. So, <laughs> on top of that, uh, by the way, Osiris, um, after I calculated your critical damage, and uh, you leveled up. Sweet. After the second hit, you leveled up. Whoa, I've also been doing some damage to this guy, too. Yeah, you guys have been racking up the XP thanks to this encounter. A teenager looks asleep. <laughs> I love it. Let's another one. <laughs> no. We lost all and- of our mounts. <laughs> no, I mean another one is in another level up. Oh, okay. I want to level up again. I got my hand in this guy's mouth. It's gross. So, I'm going to need you to all do a perception check real quick. Fourteen. Twenty. A dirty twenty. <clears throat> okay. Eighteen. Fourteen. And now I need X-Ray and Adina to do Arcana checks. Also eighteen. Nineteen. Okay, so you two both, uh, after after noticing that, you know, something seems amiss in the air, you also see that his hands have been doing a lot of weird signs and symbols behind him. Great. Has he been restrained? I'm going to shout over to Osiris and be like, take off his hands. Osiris, go ahead and uh, roll an attack. He is no, okay. it is no longer autocrit, though. Okay, yeah, turn that off. So, yeah, let's roll the attack. You can move around him. Is it he still entangled, or did he break free yet? He's entangled. Yeah, so that's not auto crit. That's not the same as the not move. So, would I get advantage? <laughs> you would get advantage. You'll just not get the auto crit. Well, he would have double advantage because he's also flanking it. All right. One more time. That's true. So one more. Didn't- Still. So, um, as you do that, he literally looks at you and just says, too late. And starts to laugh as a destructive wave breaks out of him. Fuck. (laughs) And... Yeah, everybody... Do a constitution saving throw. What's the radius on that? That is... Let me read. <laughs> 30 feet. I'm out of so range. So everybody but X-Ray and Bade. 10. Including, I guess we'll make our our Death Knight buddy also. Hold on, <clears throat> I got it. Because he has a deck saving throw, actually. Oh, it's a con save? Yeah, it's con save. Okay, hold on. I thought it was 30 feet. Yeah, it, it is. is. So either way, it's 12. Oh, okay, there you go. So. But he's 35. Also, Adam, I'm That's just going to ask, I'm not how does Bile have a plus six? Two decks? Yeah. That's the same as a Death Knight sheet. Nope, Death Knight is... Saving throws, Dex Knight. No, Saving throws, Dex plus six. Oh, you're using the Saving Throw. I got you. 
he, I was about to say, his modifier is like plus zero. <laughs> his modifier is plus zero, but I overread the saving throws. Okay, fair enough. Thank you for doing that then. Of course. But, okay, all right. So con save plus five, yes. So yeah, so he fails, and he takes 14 uh, thunder damage. So everyone who failed takes 14 thunder damage. Bitches. Plus, I hope you know. So, anyone who failed takes 14 thunder damage, 21 necrotic damage. I am hanging on oh, by sorry, a friend. <laughs> and is knocked prone if you failed. Cool. <laughs> I am great. Failed. I'm phenomenal. Was... Love that. I am on what was the... the verge. The, the, what was the, the... It was an 18. The... Sorry, oh, I forgot yeah. to say that. It was an 18. Oh, so it's a really high one. Wait, so hold on. How many damage total? 18? Oh, uh, oh, a 14 lot. 14 plus 21. So 35. 14 plus, oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, or half that if you succeeded. Here you go. You'll get, you'll get this. Osiris falls unconscious. And then <laughs> he's going to do a dex save and run for the helmet. Oh, shit. So uh-huh. as he exits, uh, Sakura and Osiris, did you guys succeed or fail? I am at one hit point. I'm still alive. <laughs> you not. get an attack of opportunity against him, and Osiris is unconscious, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so can I use a spell, though? You can use a spell, as long as it's not a save-based spell. Okay. It has to be like a hit spell. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Oh, come on! No! Oh. Ah. Hang on, I'm opening up the game log. I didn't hit him. Okay, is it how bad? How bad is your? No- oh, okay, I see. It's a real bad. It's a real bad. I didn't hit him. It didn't. Hold on. It didn't ha- has he gotten to the helm yet, or is there still a little bit of distance in between? I don't um, he the is helmet. at the helmet, like right now. Has he reached for oh. it yet? The helmet was like right he's right reaching for it right now. I'm going to cast Wall of Fire in between him and the helmet. Oh. Okay. He's going to do his deck save and attempt to run through that. Uh, Sakura, since you crit failed using Ray of Sickness, um, take half of whatever the damage was. Oh, yeah. Well, then I'm dead. Oh, shit. (laughs) So this is the situation. I literally said I have one hit point. I do. I do. But yeah, so as you go to do it, you must have lost control or gotten stressed or like distracted or something. Because when you went to sh- throw it, instead it burst in your hand. Ugh. And you got hit with just that little bit of noxious gas. And you're just like, oh, shit. Ow. I was waiting for you to say it like shot out and hit me or something. Failing. I'm just, like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, all you just hear is a DNA looking over. He's like, you 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 pulled in Ordine's spirit, and you're just like, bitch. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> just like god damn it, <laughs> I pass out. And uh, I need everyone to roll perception through my dead eyes. And uh, not you. Uh, I guess I guess just X Ray and Ordine roll perception. Oh, five. Say- <laughs> five. Okay, you didn't see it. Um, X Ray. Fifteen. You notice a slight twitch of her Death Knight slave's uh, early <gasps> servant's like head just sort of look at her as she goes down and look back up. I swear to fucking God, oh, yeah. this gentleman takes my body. <laughs> fucking oh. he just, he just, just, he just glanced. He's like, oh. He didn't say a word, oh, but he's just like, oh. So I somewhat, forward, so like, I somewhat notice that he has like a consciousness, even if it's just like enough to just like look around and be like, "Oh, that happened." Like it's clearly not moving. It's not taking like, it's not acting of its own accord. It just, it almost looked like a curious soul, just like, "Oh." Anyway, deck save for this guy. Uh, yeah, very high deck save. So he dives through your wall of fire, taking only half damage. Reaches inside the helmet. And as he is like immolating alive, you see him pull out a round red 
stone. The fuck? And jam it into his own eye socket. Ew. Oh. And you hear a horrible squelching sound as he is immolating and burning alive. Is that a magical effect? Body... Say what? Is that a magical effect? The the immolating or the jamming it into his own eye socket? Like the magic of it after jamming it into his eye socket. So, yes, the the you feel like a bunch of necrotic energy, just like you can all feel it, even in your like unconscious states. You feel this chilling wave of death and and despair. I'm gonna can cast I, a spell magic uh, on it. Dial. <laughs> okay, uh, what level? Uh, I will do it at the third level. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so um, what is the save that DC equals 10 plus the spell's level? All right, so here we go. So he does a wisdom. Yep. So he succeeds. Actually, I'm sorry. Wisdom save. So tw uh, way higher. He rolls a 28. And although you attempt to stop him from, you know, uh, essentially you attempt to stop the stone from seeding into this guy's flesh, as his flesh burns away, all you can see now is that his armor and his helmet is filled with sort of flesh and a lot of shadows. God. As he stands there stoically, and you hear him proclaim, I am victim. Yeah, the victim of a murder. And I will be back. And you see him cast banishment on himself. What a dumbass. Does anyone have counterspell? Anybody? No. no. Fuck. So um, now you guys have witnessed the third the third eye. Um actually th there's a few things I want to point out that there's a logic flaw. If he what? casts Banish on himself and he successfully cast it, he's banished and he's n unconscious, meaning he wasn't actually able to cast the spell fully, which means he pops back into the normal plane. Boom. Unless <laughs> he was from a different plane. And then he would be on a different plane altogether. Correct. But you said he was human yeah. until the eye was in. So are, is he banishing the creature in the eye or is he banishing the actual body? So... Because you not, said it I'm not going to do my usual and just claim DM. <laughs> I'm going to give my actual explanation. Okay. That human is now dead. Correct. He gone. He doesn't exist anymore. All that's left is the very real demonic spirit that was within the stone. Um. Which is exists on one of the realms of the nine hells so are you saying that he he's still not unconscious though he is but not also, unconscious he's not going to take any of his if he's just a demon then the demon -y shit is going to go and all of his armor and the eye is going to stay the eye does not stay because it is where he's basically housed and using the vessel that he gained through this moment he decided he was going to lose this fight and chose to leave. So he banished the actual eye itself. Yes, including himself. So technically, since he's not conscious or unconscious, because he's just a soul, he is in another realm, not unconscious. The vessel, most likely upon arrival, either one died in the hells in the fires of hell or just ceased to exist. See, I didn't check because you said it was metal hitting metal. I said something hit metal. Mm -mm. He did exactly. no. He did you say something like the metal. It sounded you like hear something a ding metal. Of something hitting metal. I don't know. I heard you say metal hitting metal, which is why I didn't check because I was like, the stone is not a metal. It's a stone. Nope. Adina is the only one that heard it, and she heard a ding of something hitting metal. That is correct. I was very. I I chose my words carefully because I knew if I said metal on metal, I I'd be called out on it later. Mm-hmm. Well, correct. Hm. Yay! Don't be upset, guys. You all leveled up. Yeah, right? I'm pretty upset. 
Wow. I mean, so, so with the what is left of your uh, horses and party and everything else. Well, these horses I, died within the last minute. So the ones on the one with Bade, I'm going to. Because uh, do you really need me to use diamonds for the revivify spell? Revivify now. Then I'm going to use Revivify and bring them back at one health. If it was like full revival and like, you know, on a player character or an important yeah. NPC, I'd be like, yeah, you're going to need that. But these are just horses. They're yeah. good boys, though. They're good horses. <laughs> oh, okay. And I guess I, I will do healing word as I'm like running around, like making sure everyone's dead. I'm going to just tell Osiris, will you get off your ass? We have things to do. <laughs> All right. So as everyone's healing worded, um, Sakura, upon your awakening and no longer being unconscious, you have one final decision to make before we all, you know, uh, you all set up to leave. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do something with Adonis's body at all? Or just leave it here? Does he have any cool shit on him? I mean, he has his long sword, he has his armor. And, uh... What kind of armor? I was gonna say, can I take that armor? <laughs> um? I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, push his hair over his, you know, across his, you know, off of his face, and I'm, I'm gonna pat his cheek, and I'm just gonna be like, you did well. Thank you. And your death knight behind you just gives you a little whisper like, I know. Vile? <laughs> I swear to God. If you talk to me one more time today, in this waking hour, I will murder you. So fully that you will never come back. Ever. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> And when you turn around to look at him and give him this speech, you just see the dead-eyed stare of an undead, as if Bile's either, like, really just, like, is kind of zoned out, or he just is pretending he doesn't hear you anymore. This is Bile's answering service. Please leave your commands. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> this is gonna be like, if you're having a conversation, it will not be now. And I'm gonna turn back around, and I'm gonna... Start slowly taking the armor off of Adonis's body. All right. I'm gonna go get my hand back. I horribly missed. Okay. Uh, is Adonis's armor helpful to anybody in this crew? So, Adam, you built his actual character after the fact. What kind of armor did he have? Um. So when we made him, we actually didn't make him have armor. I think we just said that he had natural armor of that. Okay, so I have to go look at the Hobgoblin Warlord sheet to figure out what kind of armor they wear. I can do it for you. Oh, there it is. So they have, he has plate, and he had a longsword. I do not remember. Did we decide he had a shield or no? Yes. I think, yeah. Plate yeah. armor? I mean, yeah, that's like... Then he has plate and a shield. <clears throat> plate? Yeah. Plate's definitely... That's heavy a armor. tiny bit better than yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's I like the I heaviest armor. Yeah, I can't wear <laughs> okay. it. So, wait, is it, oh, so you can wear it, Osiris? Is it better than the armor he's has got on now? Better than what I have now by one. <laughs> hey, man, one is one, <laughs> shit! <laughs> exactly. That, that plus one of the AC will uh, make a big difference when I immolate you all with fire from a dragon. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just give this to Osiris. I'm gonna take it and turn around and give it to Osiris <laughs> and just be like, here. <laughs> um, take this. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be useful. Considering maybe this time I won't crown. <clears throat> I just, yeah, maybe this time I won't get decimated. <laughs> we'll probably all still get decimated, but you know what? At least it'll be a little bit harder. At least for Crystal, you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. X-ray rolls his eyes when he hears a DNA make that over-sexualized comment. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. Um, with this continued, uh, is there any more looting going on, or are we heading out? No, oh, yeah, I want to check the, loot the yeah, yeah, loot the bods. Loot the right, bods. Roll investigation. 
Because <clears throat> there were actually, yeah, that's perfect. There were four bodies, and also there's those, there's uh, Istrik's dead body. Oh no! Oh so, no! Highest highest investigation gets to pick which body they investigate first. I swear to God, I feel like I'm cursed. I rolled fifteen. And what did you get? Uh, oh, I can see it. Okay. You got a seven here and a where's Sakura? Five. Okay. Alright, so the fifteen is the highest. Uh X Ray, who are you searching? Uh one with four death knights or I'm not gonna or, uh, I'm not gonna sorry. loot Eastrick. I'm actually gonna loot one of the Death Knights. Okay. Oh I forgot about Eastrick. <clears throat> so go ahead and roll a another investigation. Well, that's not going to be good. Oh, 19. All right. So you find his beautiful, as you can see it on this picture, plate, mail, as well as his shield. And the gorgeous longsword that has unfortunately lost its uh lost its necrotic flair dude that's what bile looks like right now yes okay that's pretty lit <laughs> like, except uh instead of the bones coming out of the hand like they're they're flesh okay <clears throat> and but the eyes still the one eye glows red instead of two also other than that picture perfect image <laughs> you can't make that use of that shield let me know <laughs> I'm just trying to put it on. You said it and a long sword. Yep. Yeah. You have plate, shield, and a long sword. But not a necrotic long sword. <laughs> All right. Um, next up, Osiris. Go ahead and roll a second investigation. And who will you be, uh, you know, um, looting? Feel like is there might be the better choice. Yeah, I get that lightning. But I'm gonna, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna say so. That's <clears throat> what we're going for, and that is seventeen. All right. Yeah. So, um, so you have a choice. I can either give you like a couple little items off him, or you get to pick which item you want. He wants the lightning axe. Yeah, I mean. Otherwise, I've got like you know, I've got his his other magical items he's gained throughout this that oh, I won't man. tell you. Or you can pick up the very obvious, still smoking, great axe of lightning. Can I have a second to decide? Yes, you can. Okay. In the meantime. Uh, we'll move on to the seven. Adine, who are you looting? One of the dead ones. All right, roll investigation. Fourteen. All right, so you find... Uh, you do not find the shield of, of the Death Knight. You do, however, find what looks like their torch, like this Death Knight's torch, it's now out, and his longsword, which also does not retain the necrotic powers. So then it's the chorus turn, right? Yes. All right. I'm... Mm -hmm. I think I'm also going to loot this trick because it seems like the Death Knight bodies just have, like, swords and shields and armor on them. Okay. You want me to make uh, my choice now, then? It's up to you. 
Um, uh, yeah. Go with, go with the axe. <laughs> okay. You may take the great axe of lightning. Um, I can't remember. I believe. I can give it to him. I was about to say. I, I thought we made this item, or was this act, or was this an actual item? Oh, well, I have to I go in. And... Oh, he already has it. Well, like, like I or say, I typed it in. It was there. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. There you go. You now have an artifact, the Great Axe of Lightning. All right. So Sakura, then go ahead and roll investigation. I just rolled a seven. I really feel like my my D and D Beyond like page needs to be refreshed because I think it's glitching. Like for real, though. <laughs> Go ahead and refresh it, or I can give you the one item that I know you're going to want from him. Uh, I mean, the one item I'm going to want? It's it's probably the closest to like your character's like what you what you'll want. Sure, hit me with a baby. So for the entire time since he was also in disguise, he was carrying a quarter staff plus one. Oh, okay. Because even though in a terrible costume. He was trying to pretend to look like a monk this whole trip. Oh, I mean, I already have a three-section staff that's plus two, so... Oh. Then your other option is you could loot for his gold, but Ooh. that... I will do but... that. All right, you get seven gold pieces. Oh, I rolled a 15. Um, ah. Then I will... you get 15 gold pieces. Oh, cool. <laughs> Love it. And that is uh everyone's lootings Woo. i go and check the uh caravan make sure the carts didn't weren't damaged throughout the fight so outside of some serious charring on the side of this one um and this one horse's uh like all of his bridal stuff just being completely removed like gone everything does seem to be in working order I'm going to mend what I possibly could. So, Okay. So after doing that, um, I did something really funny in uh, the other campaign. Um, as you continue to mend what looks like burnt pieces of bridle, part of them just go back onto him and strap up. And then you accidentally mend a root. So half a tree just sprouts next to one of the horses. <laughs> Doesn't have any leaves. It's dead still, but it's, it's, it's in one piece now. <laughs> so... I was so focused just on mending that it's like I open my eyes after praying to Odin and thanking him for the success that there's a tree and I'm just like well, that that's quite odd but thank you and Adine after seeing as a druid after you see this random tree sprout out of nowhere you feel a small blessing of your of your you know magical powers of your nature powers yay just a small, just tingle, like, ah, <laughs> new life. Another tree to hug. <laughs> exactly. As you all take off, take a long rest. You are <laughs> free to not die. <laughs> and uh, it wouldn't, it, it aired out when I tried to add the axe while you added to my inventory. Gotcha. Got that. Yep. All right. It's like and I, can, I, I will. Can create a custom item, but I, didn't. <laughs> I got it. And I will delete Istric. Not delete, uh, but assign from this uh, campaign. So. I need to figure out how to get some armor on this body. <sighs> All right. Um, so I would, my only suggestion would be uh, one of my characters in the other campaign uh, trained while they were in Baldur's Gate, and when they leveled up, basically they leveled up and they took the feet light armor master. It's like the only thing that lets certain spellcasters wear any kind of armor at all. Why the heck didn't I do that? It's just, we all, no one thinks about feats. Let's get real. <laughs> like, I use them. Yeah, but most people. <laughs> well, as I say, I use them in I, some scenarios. I'm yeah, about like, to do that. I'm gonna the problem, change it. The, the problem is being player's handbook restricted. There's not feet. Only the feet in the player's handbook is a battler. Wait, oh, what? Osiris, is light if, you, uh, Osiris, if what? you refresh your page, you should have it. Is light armor master not in the player's handbook? Oh, it is. I don't think yeah. it is. 
Yeah, there's quite a few feats. You can only get them at the levels where you get a... Uh... Yeah. I just got a feat, and I'm just going to change it. <laughs> yeah, you can do that if you want, yeah. Because we haven't finalized... Like, you haven't done the long rest yet, so I can totally accept, like, hey, I'd like a quick edit. Because <laughs> your girl is real squishy. So, because, yeah, like, next time I... you run into some merchants or even some just people... I actually, think... there is... It's called Lightly oh. Armored, by the way, not Light Armor oh, okay. Mastery. Light Armor Master is different than that. Might be proficient with something. Yeah. Or that might, that might so, give advantage or something. Lightly Armored, you train to use the Light Armor, gain the following benefits. Increase your strength or deck score by one, up to a maximum of 20, and you gain proficiency with Light Armor. There it is. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, because in mine, if I go to my uh, things, I go to select a feat, it only gives me grapple. That might be a content sharing issue then. Yeah. It's it's before, well, Lightly I Armored is page 167 of the player's handbook. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to look at your page more because yours is kind of messed up. <laughs> I need to buy some light armor. Yeah, so um, I'll say this just for your benefit. Next time you guys are at like the camp, um, there is a fur and hide merchant in the caravan and i can i can make a point to be like you go find the guy selling fur and hide cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so that you can buy like a bunch of them and kind of mesh together a fur arm or a hide armor cool so other than that um yeah so you guys take a long rest to the camp you know uh, come before, to a halt. before we go to bed i'm gonna walk over to x-ray and uh I'm assuming we're just like sitting by the fire. I'm just gonna put my hand on his hand and just be like, "Thank you for saving me twice." Uh, so for one, I have all the feats, Kevin. So you're not. It, I, you might just have to refresh your stuff because I can see all the feats on your character. Um, but actually, but you have the book. For, you brought the book, right? Like the. Yeah, I mean, I own the player's handbook. Right. I don't think I. I've never, I've never bought anything. Choose a fee. Let's see. I mean, we could be these guys, and I could just no, because if I give you my login, it's going to kick me off. <laughs> never mind. No, no, no. That's fine. you would just have to create like a separate campaign. We can unassign these to the campaign or reassign them to your new one yeah. that you can do content sharing. Right. Yeah, if you guys want to call me tomorrow uh, during the day, we can. See, I can, I'll be home all day, so we can we can do that real quick. Yeah. Put the whole campaign back together. <laughs> All right. You would just take the one you just created, basically, and have us all join that one and rename it this one. And we'd all, um, we'd all nailed it. <laughs> X-Ray's going to look over at Sakura and be like, of course, as much as I find your magic distasteful, you yourself are quite pleasant. <laughs> That's a little overdramatic, but thank you. <laughs> I could say the same about yours. Though you do heal, which is nice. I definitely can't do that. I just bring people back from the dead instead of making them better. Well, I've learned a thing or two from watching you, so if need be, I might be able to assist in that. Hmm. I do have one radiant spell now. <laughs> Maybe I'm dabbling in light. Possibly. That light was a little uneasy if I'm recalling our endeavor quite well. I tried really hard. It's a new spell. I'm not used to it. I'm trying to be good. It's um, harder than you think. I don't think personality-wise you have to have an issue being good. <laughs> I think okay. this is a matter of you fighting more so your inner demons than actual demons. Ooh. Well, sometimes um, they're the same, unfortunately. <laughs> X-ray looks at, at you really puzzled like have have you been encountering demons and just now telling me mm. yeah there is a demon far closer than you may think okay just because Osiris drinks doesn't mean he's a demon I mean he, he, he... rude <laughs> I'm not talking about Osiris <laughs> No, that is a good one. Be glad he didn't hear it. <laughs> uh, 
I don't um, know. I feel I, I feel a sort of kinship with him. I, it, it's odd, but it's comforting. <laughs> As you're saying that, oh, I'm gonna roll something to see how it works here. He is. Uh, oh, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna actually be on my. I'm gonna use Feral and use my magic carpet up here or whatever, and I'm over on my magic carpet, just sitting there like, like playing with the axe or whatever. Like you can see me like shooting up lightning, just like a little bit, just to try it out. <laughs> So we might have to tr- we might have to do some trial runs with that lightning axe. I feel like we're gonna get our shit wrecked with that. <clears throat> Should we it take it happen. away like a child with a sharp object? So can we baby proof it? Can we just like small lightning spells first, and then as he gets better, we give him more? Some pool noodles around the edges. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely get some clay, maybe. Some, some clay, some I, stone. And I look over and my little golem that I keep forgetting about is just like on the ground. <laughs> just playing with dirt. <laughs> Maybe we can like wrap him around the end, you know? The lightning will go through him first. It, it won't be so intense if it accidentally hits us. I feel like we might have to talk to him about that because it, it could also he play into- Yes. No, he might not notice. Uh, we'll see after the cart opens and he's had a few drinks if we can do this. Oh, yeah. We should definitely stay away from him if he's drinking alcohol. I think I might have to be there so he doesn't kill somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, Adina can also heal, which is great. True. Where is she? Though you do choose to heal more. But that's fine. I... Can't hear it at all, so who am I to say? <laughs> As Adina itches her chest and rubs it into yeah. the microphone. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna notice that my hand has been on his hand this whole time and I'm gonna mm. take it off and just be like <clears throat> So I think I need to buy some armor. Then you won't have to worry about saving me so much. You can say that as much as you want, hun, but I think I still will have to worry about saving you more than you think. Yeah. Especially with the demon, you know, being here. You as you uh, <laughs> as you continue to have this conversation, including the awkward uh, hand taken off of the um taken other off hand. Of, yeah, of the other <laughs> hand. Uh, you get ready to get up and you notice, but you didn't hear a thing. Bile just standing behind you, oh, like but stoically staring off into the distance. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, and be like, "Oh shit, bile!" Um, and I'm just gonna look down at him and just be like, "Far closer than you might think." <clears throat> <clears throat> Hold on, I'm, I'm, gonna... I'm just gonna see if I can. I don't know shit, are you so I... <laughs> no, you are you are p- not picking up the vibes. You are you're actually kind of convinced. Is she? Is this like a terrible attempt at flirting? Is this? What is this? <laughs> it's a yes. Is she trying to tell me she has some demons she needs sit, like calmed. <laughs> like you're not you're not picking up on the on the actual point at all. Not at all. And that's even I... with a plus five, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna go find something to drink and put this guy to bed. <laughs> he doesn't need to stay up any later than he already does. Have fun. Mm-hmm. Thanks. So, as you walk off to find an armor merchant, like I said, you walk up to what's his name again? Could be anything. What's my name again? What's my name again? <laughs> do, 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 do. Fellow travelers, there we go. Hello, travelers. <clears throat> ah, you walk up to a one male human merchant, Akrony Olyelton, who has a wagon covered in uh, like really well tanned hides <clears throat> and He's sitting at the back, just like brushing the softest of one of his furs, like checking it for something. He's like looking at it really carefully. Just like, eh, eh. I'm gonna like leave. Looks annoyed. 
<laughs> I'm going to leave Bile like, in the back of the cart. So he can go there. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to walk up to him and just be like, Hi. Um, do you happen to have any leather armor? Leather? No. I got, uh... He just starts rooting through, like, all the pieces, throwing them up over his head. I was like, oh! <laughs> and just, like, you just find... He just pops out, like, one long piece of fur, and it's, like, a bear. Okay. And he's like, I could I could make this into some fur armor. Would it actually be helpful? Or would it just be, like, for show? It it does something. It's not. It's no, you know, plate of any kind. But it'll uh, it'll slow a blade. Okay. Uh, do you have any? Um, actually, wait. I'm proficient in leather making. I can make my own armor. Oh, you want to just buy some some fur, some uh, some hides then? Sure. Would it be faster if you made it? You might be better at it. Faster. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Tell uh, you what, why don't you help me out a little bit, and we'll have it done in no time. And I'll give you a discount for the assistance. Okay, sounds great. And he just starts in again, like, just rooting through the piles in his inside of his wagon, just... <laughs> just just piece after piece, like, flying by your head. A couple of them, like, graze your your hair and your face, but nothing really hits. I just, like, and then, like grab them and pull them back. <laughs> like... <laughs> then one hits you, just, like, fur and everything, just straight in the face. I was like, and it's got like a little bit of like the fluid that they use to like begin like curing it. Ew! I'm just gonna like peel it off my face and be like, ah. And then he just turns out like, oh, that's the one. Fabulous. So he had like a pile of like six that he had next to him, like they were slowly building while throwing. He's like, all right, uh, yeah, you just take this uh, this needle here, and I'll take this needle here, and uh, here we go, and just roll sleight of hand. Oh god. It's not great for me. Ooh, I rolled an 18 though. Alright, so you have gotten yourself a... Oh, where's the player's handbook? I'll throw all these books over. I didn't grab the player's handbook. The only book that we're actually allowed to use is... Hello. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Armor, armor. Okay, you're muted. So you get what is essentially leather armor. There's actually hide. Hide is medium, so it would be for light. It would be padded or actual leather armor. So you get the equivalent of leather armor. However, it is fuzzy all over. (laughs) So if you want to add the the note fuzzy. Okay. Perfect. I'll do that. Um, where is it? I'll put that bad boy on. Um, I don't think I can add a note, but that's cool. I'll customize right here. I'm just gonna write Fuzzy Bear. And he just asks, like, uh, I'll take, uh, let's see, uh, six gold. Oh, sold. Um, <clears throat> is it? Is it at least black? So it is... Um, well, you didn't request that ahead of time, so he's like, oh, hang on. And he just takes it and just, like, opens up one of these barrels and then just dunks the whole thing in. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. So he rips it back out and just, like, hangs it for a sec and is like, so I'd let it drip before you, uh, before you wear it. But, yeah. uh... That makes sense. Yeah, the die job will be one silver. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. I will give that to you. And then I need everybody to roll a d20 for me real quick. Oh, sweet lord. I rolled a d20. Nat 20. All right, so 20. What'd you roll, Sakura? Uh, 
Okay. Hold on. He's descending the next creature, and it's going to be an ancient frost dragon. Then we're all going to get shit wrecked. Yay! Right. It flew here to talk to you all the way from the other campaign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Erevis? Yeah. <laughs> Mm. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. Ooh, this will be fun. Next time. Oh, God. Um, and then 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 40, 50, 16. Oh, that one won't be as dangerous. Oh, well. And what was that last roll? Six. I got 20, 16, 19. Six. 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 Ooh. All right. You guys have a few dragon encounters coming. Great. But as you all go to sleep. Sakura, you have the most horrifying nightmares and everyone else can see in their own dreams a very pale ugly skeletal creature. You, however, have a full view of what can only be described as some sort of bony monster. Awesome. And I'll have a great picture for you in one moment. Perfect. What's that? Oh god, hold on. Ew, I hate oh, it. Derek, it looks so, like one of your exes. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. That's like that's like a golem scorpion dragonfly bone creature. So think of that thing, but standing fully upright, the Erect, tail trails behind and the wings are closed. And it just steps towards you and says, and says, like, I am victim. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hi. And uh, I seek parlay. Parlay. Only one of us is a pirate. <laughs> I know, right? Um, do you have to be Lord Kuth? And that's where we're going to call it a night, guys. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Sweet oh, Jesus. Yay. None of us die, except for now we have this freaking thing after us. Well, I mean, it's still going to be fun. Uh, yeah. Right? So, no campaign this weekend, but we do have Rhyme next weekend, right? Correct. Oh. I'm just going to I'm just going to be me as Fallon just crying the entire, the entire, <laughs> and me crying the whole time. <laughs> it's gonna be entertaining. <clears throat> Man, you're really gonna hate my new character then. Oh God. Oh no. All right, but with that guys, we'll see you next Tuesday. Night. Bye. Bye. Bye.